This is a picture of Buick Sportsman. They have a special zest for life and all it offers that separates them from ordinary men. At work or at play, you will find these men where the action is, and wherever they go, the crowd turns to watch, because that's the kind of men they are. These are the cars Buick builds for the sportsmen. Brawny, sleek, poised for action. They have that special something that separates them from ordinary cars. Wherever they go, the crowds turn to watch, because that's the kind of cars they are. These are Buick's GS cars, the Grand Sport models designed for the young sportsmen. For 1970, there are two series, the GS and the GS 455. The GS series features one model, a two-door hardtop coupe. The GS 455 comes in two models, a two-door hardtop coupe, and a two-door convertible. All models have an overall length of 202.2 inches, a 112-inch wheelbase for sports car handling, and a 59-inch front and rear track for excellent stability and handling. Styling of all GS models is identical, except for the specific identification located on the front fenders. The GS will feature this identification plaque. And the GS 455, will be identified by this ornamentation. The special identification will appear on GS 455 models equipped with a Stage 1 performance option. GS cars for 1970 have their own specific grill. It has a fine texture and is set on a black background. These hood scoops are functional and not only give GS models a sporty look, but help provide the engine power to back up those looks. From the side, you get the long, low look of power provided by the new character lines, a new look of action for the GS cars. There are four wheel options to go with the new Husky oversized tires. The deluxe wheel covers, wire wheel covers, chrome-plated wheels, or super sport wheels. And for 1970, the optional fiberglass belted wide oval tires feature the manufacturer's name in large, white billboard letters similar to racing tires, give them greater appeal to sports-minded drivers. Inside the GS series instrument panel features an insert of black camera-grained vinyl, while the GS 455 series instrument panel features wood grain applique. On either series, there are two rally pack options for the instrument panel. One option features an electric rally clock and gauges for water temperature, oil pressure, and generator. The other option substitutes an electric tachometer for the rally clock. Either option should prove attractive to your GS prospects. On the GS series, three different seat trims are available in a total of 12 different all-vinyl color combinations. GS 455 buyers have a choice of these three seat trims and 12 all-vinyl color combinations. Among the many interior options that are available on GS cars are Cruisemaster, with a control switch located in the end of the turn signal lever. Electric door locks, an option that includes electric seat back latches on GS models, and the stereo tape player that is color keyed to the interior of the car in 1970. But performance is the thing that is most important in a high performance car. And for 1970, the GS cars by Buick have performance plus. The engine for the GS series is the improved Wildcat 350-4 high-performance V8 with dual exhaust. With a 10.25 to 1 compression ratio, develops 315 horsepower, 4,800 RPM, 410 foot-pounds of torque, 3,200 RPM. That's 35 more horsepower and 35 foot-pounds more torque than last year's version of this engine. This increase in power comes from freer breathing and a specific performance camshaft. The 350-4 high-performance engine also features a new valve train mechanism designed for quieter operation and longer life, and the new time-modulated choke control for faster, more reliable starting. This engine can be coupled with a choice of three transmissions, the standard three-speed column-mounted manual, a four-speed floor-mounted manual with a Hurst shift linkage, or the turbo hydromatic 350 three speed automatic transmission. When the turbo hydromatic 350 transmission is selected with the GS, 
comes specifically calibrated to match the high-performance characteristics of the 350-4 high-performance engine. Shift points are set at higher engine speeds to allow the driver to get maximum performance from his engine in each speed range. The effect is a perfectly matched power team for this outstanding high-performance car. Power and performance for the GS455 comes from the new Wildcat 455-4 BA. This powerhouse develops 350 horsepower, 4,600 RPM, the whopping 510 foot-pounds of torque, 2,800 RPM. This is basically the same engine that provides power for our top-of-the-line Riviera. Add to this the functional dual air intakes that provide a better fuel mixture, and you have performance plus. But for top performance, the Stage 1 option is available on GS455 models. This is the same option that received so much good publicity in the automotive magazines last year, and it's even better this year. With Stage 1, an increase in usable horsepower is achieved by increasing the compression ratio to 10.5 to 1 and adding larger valves for improved breathing, higher load valve springs to reduce the possibility of valve float at high RPM, a low back pressure dual exhaust for better breathing, and a specific camshaft with a higher lift and longer duration. Also included with Stage 1 is a positive traction differential a specific 3.64 to 1 axle ratio. When you lift the hood, the Stage 1 engine is identified as a real performer by the chrome-plated rocker arm covers, chrome-plated oil filler cap, and the Stage 1 air cleaner decal. Three transmissions are available on the GS455. The standard transmission is a heavy-duty three-speed manual with a floor shift. A four-speed manual with a floor-mounted hearse shift is available. And the available automatic transmission is the Turbo Hydromatic 400 three-speed automatic. When used on the GS455, this transmission is specially calibrated to couple with the 455-4 V8 engine, say high-performance power team. The shift point from first gear to second gear has been raised to 35 miles per hour, allowing the driver to get more performance from the engine at lower speeds. Using the part throttle downshift feature, the driver can downshift into first gear at speeds from 35 miles per hour down. GS and GS455 both feature specific heavy-duty springs and shock absorbers as standard equipment to provide tighter road control and quicker handling. For the prospect who wants a real sports car ride, a rally ride control package is available. The rally ride control package includes a rear stabilizer bar, heavy-duty specific rear control arms, front and rear firm ride tuned shocks. And on the GS455, rear firm ride springs and a specific rear lower control arm assembly. The rally ride control package really gives Buick's GS cars a true sports car ride and feel and provides the kind of handling the real performance car drivers want. Additional handling response is provided by the variable ratio power steering unit is available on the GS models for the first time in 1970. Stopping power for the GS comes from thinned alloy iron brake drums that have excellent cooling capacity. To allow for its additional power, the GS 455 is equipped with thinned aluminum front brake drums, which provide greater heat dissipation and excellent braking. GS 455 is the only car in its class with this feature. For prospects who want the braking characteristics of disc brakes, the single-piston power front disc brakes are available on all Buick GS models. With sporty style, sporty power, and sporty performance, the 1970 GS performance cars by Buick are your opportunity to sell the young sportsman in 1970. This is the car Buick builds for America's most discriminating sportsman. In town, in the country, at the golf course, the lake, the car and the man who drives it stand out. For 1970, the Riviera is new, but it is unmistakably Riviera. From the front, the new grille presents a vertical line that is unique to Riviera. This completely restyled front end features fixed, exposed headlamps for 1970. The Buick tri-shield set into the grille establishes Riviera's Buick identity. 
Many new styling features are apparent in the side view of the 1970 Riviera. The longer hood blends into the front bumper. An available, slim, twin-stripe molding running the entire length of the body gives Riviera a long, low look. Rear wheel opening covers are standard on the 1970 Riviera, providing an unbroken lower styling line that extends from the front wheel opening to the rear bumper, accentuating the length of the car. Riviera's new rear bumper is tastefully styled to complete the new Riviera look for 1970. The Riviera backup lights for 1970 incorporate two bulbs per unit, giving a brighter light and excellent backup visibility at night. Riviera's most significant styling change is a subtle but important one. 1970, the rear quarter blends directly into the rear fender, giving the rear quarter area a monocoque appearance, a look that is found on some of Europe's most expensive grand touring cars, but it has a practical application too. It allows a larger rear window for excellent rear visibility. The larger rear window is possible because of the new body cross-section in this area. Riviera interiors are new for 1970. They feature new patterns and new fabrics. These interiors are available in 15 different cloth and vinyl and all vinyl color combinations. The Riviera instrument panel features simulated wood grain applique and the new windshield washer wiper switch with separate controls for each mode of operation. The available stereo tape player is popular with Riviera buyers, features simulated wood grain applique for 1970 to complement the instrument panel and make it integral with the interiors of the car. Riviera, like all 1970 Buicks, features the new radio antenna embedded in the windshield for superb AM-FM radio reception without worry of damage by weather or vandalism. And Riviera buyers can enjoy the added security of the available electric door and seat locks. The new seat locks automatically release the front seat back for entry into the rear seat when the door is open. When the door is closed, the seat back is automatically locked into position. Riviera's 119-inch wheelbase, combined with a 63.44-inch front track and a 63-inch rear track, provides sporty handling along with a substantial feeling that Buick owners expect. The overall length of the Riviera for 1970 is 215.5 inches. Power for the 1970 Riviera comes from the new 455-4 cubic inch V8. It puts 370 horsepower and 510 foot-pounds of torque under the hood. The electric fuel pump introduced last year continues to be a Riviera exclusive in 1970, adding to the outstanding performance of its 455-4 engine. Add to it the new time-modulated choke control. You have reliable starting reliable operation, the kind of engine performance that makes Riviera a leader. All of this plus Buick's new semi-closed cooling system, which provides better cooling and virtually eliminates coolant loss, is Riviera one of the most sophisticated engine installations of any production car today. Riviera's turbo hydromatic 400 transmission is calibrated to provide sporty performance and match the power output of Riviera's 455 cubic inch V8 engine. The transmission can be downshifted into first gear, 35 miles per hour, allowing more around town driving performance. It also gives better performance in passing situations. Riviera, like all full size Buicks, is one of the world's best riding cars. AccuDrive front suspension gives it a ride smoothness and stability found only on Buicks. Its variable ratio power steering allows effortless handling for in-town driving and parking. It retains that feel of the road for driving at highway speeds. And in 1970, new wider fiberglass belted tires will give Riviera even better traction and increased tire mileage. New single piston power front disc brakes are available in 1970. Fewer operating parts provide greater reliability and a new brake proportioning valve allows more brake pressure to be applied to the front brakes during high-speed stops. For the performance-oriented Riviera Prospect, Riviera GS Option offers a heavy-duty suspension for improved handling, a performance axle with a 5.42 axle ratio, positive traction differential, and white wall tires, all topped off with a chrome air cleaner 
and specific ornamentation. Riviera is a proven leader in styling, performance, ride and handling, luxury and comfort. In 1970, the Sportsman's Buick continues to lead the way. Thank <laughs> you.